just to let y'all know, Greek life is not for anyone in the LGBTQ community, especially if you identify as transgender. Greek life is a hard watch, especially this episode. And what's going on out Dalton County? What's going on, y'all? Hey, what's going on, everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And if you're seeing me, then you know it's time to get into some tea. And we are recapping Greek life. This is episode 12. We jumping straight into it. Now, this episode gets us no closer to the cash prize or the winner of this season. I'm quite confused. You know, some would say, what went wrong? Can't we all just get along and make hit songs? Not according to this episode. We got Nina confronting Barbie, Pootie confronting Mal and Kenzie, Naj confronting, who did Naj confront? Someone. We got to get into this tea. Let's go straight into it. Y'all watching Greek Life? By the way, I did check out Ferrari's show, Young and Reckless. This week, Ivory joined the show. It's cute, but you know, it's it's show, and I'm like, I'm already covering two. When one leaves, I'll bring in another one. You know, I need a peaceful show. Talk, you know, you know, you know, balance. You know, let's get into this tea now. This episode starts with Moni and Queen D. One thing I gotta say is Queen D. It's the reason you were so mad, and I understand why you was mad, D, because I would be mad. Moni about this big. Moni a pocket princess. You know what I'm talking about? It. Moni swept her up. Cleaned her up pretty good. But Queen D was upset at the end of it, saying that... Ooh, we're pulling up to the party, huh? It's dark like this. I hope they're ready for... Moni didn't get her. Moni didn't one-up her. Queen D says she really boxed in real life. I agree with Ivory. Ivory said in her confessional that she can see that Queen D is tired of getting beat up she said she can look at her and see that she's tired of getting beat up she said this is somebody who's tired of getting beat up moni took that queen d was like moni don't want another one with me my face is clear my face is clear queen d you jumped out of your blouse you was running around jumping up and down talking about i got my tims on you were crying to the camera saying i'm getting better i'm I'm becoming a better fighter that means you lost if you wasn't able to do what moni did which was walk back to her space comfortably and was like what's the you know your losses, you know, and it's okay. You know, you wanted to run up for Sayana, your homegirl. They say that's what's a homegirl. But, um, you know, it. what Moni said is true. You know, she took you and your homegirl down, you know. Naj, that's who Naj was arguing with, Kenzie. Kenzie got a lot of camera time in this episode. Hey, Ken, you know what I'm talking about? Look, Naj and Kenzie was getting into it. Now, this is what Naj said. Naj said she want Kenzie off her team permanently Kenzie isn't pulling weight and the weight that Kenzie is pulling Naj doesn't understand it this is um our first example of transphobia because Naj said that Kenzie is um stepping too much in the woman of it all Naj said real women don't do that real women know how to get down Naj is a double-edged sword but does it fall on the transition Kenzie and Joyce are both trans women on this season oh Kenzie, Joyce, and Barbie, three trans women on this season, and all three embody the identity the identity of a trans person differently. So when Naj said that, I said, ooh, hopefully, you know, she doesn't feel like um, women who are in their soft girl eras are weaklings, because that's what it was giving me. She felt like Kenzie wasn't pulling their weight. Now, in all fairness, Kenzie did openly say in the last episode that I have been sabotaging the show. You know, period. Kenzie let it be known. So Kenzie rebuttals didn't really land because last episode you said you are sabotaging a group. So I'm like, uh, Naj want that 100K and she feel like Kenzie is causing her to possibly lose that. And I totally understand about it because personal sabotage is one thing. But if it's someone on your team sabotaging it, that's something else. Um, Kenzie, you started to go in on Billy. Now, after the situation, Naj said that Billy also called out Kenzie. Kenzie went in the back and started reading Billy on her size, all those type of jokes. I did kind of think the scene was cute with Gucci and Moni when they were trying on glasses. I said, this is cool because so many reality stars do wear glasses, but they just try to pretend like they don't. I've never been that type of person. That's why I thought that scene was so cute that they was like, oh my God, I wear glasses. Moni glasses was thick framed. 
Moni can see into the future. Yes, when it comes into those eyes. You know what I'm talking about? I thought that was cute. Now, and this scene was intense. It was a, a group scene to get rid of Barbie. Um, Nina and her team do not want Barbie as their HBIC any longer. So they bring Barbie to trial. They said the things that she says to her teammates are rude and insulting. Calling Mal a drunk. Saying that she doesn't need to sit on Nina's bed. Now, you know, Nina is sleeping on a, um, what is it called? A beanbag in a hallway because I guess all the the beds in the dorm rooms are taken, right? So look, this all started because Nina feels as though Barbie tries to make her feel beneath her with sly comments. And it is true. Um, Barbie is an Aquarian woman. You got to understand this. So when Nina was throwing out those saying, yeah, I had to ask you for money. And yeah, it's just the little stuff you do making me feel small. Mind you, Nina was in the background wrapping up her hair, tying up her hair like she really wanted Barbie while everybody was saying it. Barbie remained calm. And one thing Barbie did say, she said, I will not hit Nina on camera. She said, you will not see me swing back at Nina. And I said, that's props to Barbie because Nina definitely won it. It did not get to physical blows. But a lot of the comments, especially Ivory's girlfriend, when she said that Barbie needs to kind of sit in with their saying and not try to run to cover it up. Mal, Jazz, all of them calling her out on it. And they all have valid points. Like if this is your team, don't bash them to other people or put them down. And I know the comments she's talking about because even though um, I don't know Barbie, it is a tactic that some people do when they want to underhand someone. I guess it's called passive aggressive shade. Yes, passive aggressive shade. So like when she was walking around saying, oh, cause I don't need $40, it's throwing shade. Now, most people wouldn't get the shade because the only people who knew about the cash at $40 was Barbie and Nina until now. Now we all know. You see what I'm saying? That's like if I had asked somebody for $40, now we on the same show. And they was like, well, Jane, you need another 40 I'd be like, yeah, run me that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, run me 40 every time. Or run me that. Yeah. <laughs> but I get it. Um, Nina felt small by Barbie. At the end of the day, Barbie did take on the um i guess the feedback she refused to knock nina okay the team wants her to be better and it looks like towards the end of it you know they was trying to you know work on being a team again now moni was not kidding when she said she gathered sayana and her best friend she was back there talking about it and she basically said their beef is just over online comments and basically sayana not wanting to be pressed in person after she said what she said online <laughs> say yeah nah. if you want to say stuff online make sure when you see them in person you step on it i feel like i would definitely be willing to have the conversation especially if this is people you knew it's not like you're doing a review and you haven't met these people you know them girl so you should have knew they was going um try bring something to the table on to the next one on to the next one on to the next one pooty snuck mile Pootie snuck Mal. Mal was sitting in a hallway on Nina's bed. And that's when Pootie came out there and a wop, wop, a doo bop, a wop, wop, wop. He got dropped. Yes. Pootie said he's always been that type. He said even though, you know, they scuffle, if he feel like he want to get a lick back later, he will. Pootie a dangerous man. It's never truly over with Pootie, you know? Um, what I say? Why is I <laughs> In the midst of that, we see Ivory and Kenzie out in the hallway sweeping and mopping. I was like, what is this, the clean up woman? Yes, that's what a woman do. Yeah. <laughs> that was a cute scene. It was random. This was also random. Rose is 37. Rose was twerking and she was like, yeah, this is a 37 year old twerk and stuff like that. Rose is let go. Yes, they did say they're going to get rid of Rose because her shoulder has. I guess, been unhinged. She said, by a lock, it's Joyce. She said, a lock knocked her shoulder out of place. So I'm like, when did this happen? It was Joyce. I thought it was a rock and a sock. It was a lock and a sock. It was metal. You see what I'm saying? Even though a stone is just as bad, she used metal to kind of hit Rose in the arm. Now look, Rose was like, it's cool. She said, Joyce, I'm gonna get my lick back. So Rose says she gonna get her lick back from Joyce. We see like this cafeteria scene. Everyone's down there eating lunch. Yay. Kenzie doesn't like to hear too much feedback. She wanted to leave, but in the midst of it all, Pootie said that Kenzie need to stop trying to walk out and she needs to just sit down and listen. So Kenzie was like upset. She got up and put her plate in the trash and she walked back to the table. 
and was like, well, if somebody got something to say, they need to say it. Pootie was like, I've been saying it. You know what I'm saying? Pootie was like, I've been saying it. And all of us have been saying it. You know, you not doing your all and this and that. So that's when Kenzie was like, you need to calm down by how you talking to me. And Pootie was like, you getting me upset. Pootie was like, this is the second case of transphobia this episode. Pootie started going in on... um. Kenzie to the point that Pootie launched a drink at Kenzie. Pootie wanted to walk up. I will say that. I will say this. It was opportunity for Pootie to go over to Kenzie before the security stood there, but um, all he decided to do was throw a drink and slurs. So Kenzie said that she respected, which I was surprised that Pootie only threw a drink and he didn't go to swinging. Now, Pootie to me, showed more grace than Gucci did to Joyce. You see what I'm saying? These guys ain't playing with the girls. They not. And it's it's very evident. And I just want y'all to know, if you community, it's very evident on this show they're not playing with the girls. Not, not at all, okay? So look, so look, Kenzie went back to her room. She took off her wig. She um, let her boobs hang out and was walking in the room and was telling Ma what happened. Ma was like, well, you know, I already want it with Pootie so you know you just give me the word and I'm ready to go get him so Kenzie like okay cool like that right she with it so we see what happened next oh yeah so before they got into it we see Billy <laughs> so why they bring Billy down to the cafeteria and then Shaba was right behind her I said this almost seemed like a setup Billy turned around and started whacking Shaba with her purse like get her out of here get her out of here and um Shaba was running out looking like Ronnie from the Players Club at the end of the movie was running out with the blonde wig on saying don't get my eye don't get my eye it's just like what is going on I thought Shaba had left child that's all the scuff the, the only little scuffle they did but look Ivory is funny because when they was over there um tussling Pootie and Kenzie then um Billy and Shaba what was your homegirl Ivory doing? Making a plate. Uh -huh. She too real. She was munching into a sandwich. I said, girl, you just like me. I surely will be eating. What y'all getting into? Some mess. Oh, I'm getting into this plate. Yes, what else happened? Into it, but I have a own a personal code, you know, January's code that I only can do two, you know, toxic shows at a time. I need positivity in between. You see what I'm saying? So if one of these go, then the next show can roll through. You see what I'm saying? So now we get to the climatic part of the show, which is Pootie and Mal round two. So we see um Pootie getting prepared to go down to the hallway to get Mal. Mal said that he will run it for Kenzie. Pootie is confused. Pootie just knew he was gonna run it with Kenzie, right? Pootie said, I don't understand why Kenzie got mild. Kenzie has fought men before. Now, from the fights I've seen Kenzie in, I've seen her go up against Sydney Starr, Joyce. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Those two I definitely seen for sure. But Pootie said Kenzie does fight men. So what's the difference between now? It's whatever she wanted. So basically... Pootie and Mal going at it. Pootie's like kicking, of course, always. But Mal knocked them down. Before they cut off the episode for next week, I think Pootie and that cat scratch attack is getting knocked down. Mm -hmm. I think Pootie is trying to prove himself. He's in a different arena. Or this could always be his personality. I don't know, honey. I was very confused. But by the looks at next week, we're going to have a lot more brawls. It looks like Billy was standing in the street barefoot. Naj is walking around the house wigless. But I did say Queen D look cute. Hey D, yes, you was mad this episode, girl. But y'all comment below. Let me know your thoughts on Greek life. Did you have a standout this episode? Who do you see walking away with the 100K? This isn't a small prize, you know? I want to see who's going to get it. I'm going to be interested. Do you think they're going to announce it in the last episode or they're going to do something that Zeus would do and like make us wait for the reunion? I hope they don't make us wait for the reunion to see who's going to win it. Please let them win it at the end of the episode, okay? Y'all comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Stay locked to the channel because I will keep you up to date with all the latest tea. But remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs>